<sighs> this isn't right. It's too quiet. I would have thought Alphano would still be treating them by the fire, but they're nowhere to be seen. I'll look inside the house while you search outside. They can't have gotten far. Okay. Well, where is it? Where do I stand? Oh. Alphano? What happened? They asked me, asked me to help carry supplies. But when I followed them back here, they attacked me. Ugh. Caught me off guard, forced me to defend myself. I fear they fared rather worse than me. You can't fool us. We know. We know what you are about. Vultures. That's what you are. Waiting in the wings for us to show weakness. Then you'll swoop in. Here to help. What rot. All a ploy to make us lower our guard. Let you in. Put ourselves at your mercy. Put us in chains, steal our lands, get your revenge. Nope, dude, sorry. You're wrong. That's not what any of us want. Save the arguments for later. We've got a bigger problem. I found empty medicine bottles and a bed that was still warm. It's true. Licinia was hiding her sick sister inside the house. Uh-oh. But now there's no sight of either of them. Where are they? Where did they go? Away from you and yours, and if you think I'll tell you you're a fool, I'd never give up my people. We're trying to help you, you idiot. <laughs> Her sister's ill. The empty bottle proves it, so the medicine ran out, or she put it in her pockets to make it easier to carry, or to avoid the sound of clinking glass. There are beasts everywhere. How could you let them go alone? To protect them from you. You invade our homeland. Taint it with some sorcery used to slay our countrymen. A Garlean should sooner die than suffer the insult. Better for them to flee, keep their purity intact, than be corrupted by your vile magics. We were waiting, waiting for a chance to free them, since the moment you arrived. Of course, that's why she was asking. About the airships and everything. This is getting us nowhere. I cannot say how Licinia and her sister will react when we find them, but find them we must. Go on without me, both of you. I first need to tend to my injuries and theirs. I will join you in the search after. All right, but be careful. <clears throat> we'll do our best to find them quickly. Yeah, we need to look for footprints. There's only one path out of here, so that's where we'll start. We're not here to hurt you guys. But I can see their way of thinking. They've always been the bad guys, and we've always been the bad guys to them, so... <clears throat> it's gonna take more than... We're here to help you to get through to them. It makes sense. Two sets of fresh footprints. Young women judging by the size. This is definitely them. Come on. Uh oh.
The two bodies are already cold. Oh, man. Jeez. <sighs> that sucks. Oh, they took the radio. Twins, okay. First, I their face. I was like, "Why?" Okay. Blood trail. We found one. They were attacked. Yep. By beasts, or by what? No. Sorry, Alice. Safer to brave the wilds than trust in our magic. We should have... I should have... We can't leave them like this. We have to take them home. Yeah. What if we're only making it worse? Maybe we don't belong here, but neither do they. Not out here in the wind and the cold. I heard the story about Varus's voice from beyond the grave. Of course, I didn't believe it, but Lacinia and her sister did. Perhaps there is something to the tale after all. How? I want to understand. So I'm going to borrow this for a while, if that's all right. You can borrow the radio. You had every reason not to trust us. We came as trespassers, invaders. But I pray that in time, we will be more than that to you. That we will find a way to help your loved ones. And see that no more children are left to freeze alone in the snow. <laughs> 